Hello there everybody, this is ODC That's Me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics Collect and Connect Despero figure. Um, he is a, um, he's not the largest Collect and Connect figure, to be honest. He's, um, I think he's pretty much, uh, I believe him and Lobo actually share the same body uh, with just different sculpting here and there. So if you have Lobo and you don't have this guy, um, then you know what you're getting into. Basically, they have the same, pretty much, very similar body type. So, um, excuse me, burp. Um, but he does come with a uh, rifle and he does come with a sidearm. I, I did get this guy loose a while ago. I just I kept forgetting to do the review for God's sake. So. I'm glad to do the review today, and uh, Despero does look good. He's a little, my, my guy's a little, I mean, he is used, so he's a little bit loose in the ankle, but, I mean, if I keep touching him, he'll, he'll start to want to wobble back and forth, but, you know, he stands fine, not a big deal, so there you go. Um, I wish his ankles were a little bit tighter, but, you know, he is he is a used figure, so, I, you know, I'm not sure how the previous owner, he does come... He does come with his sidearm here, which I'll show you. So he does, he is a collect and connect figure that does come with some accessories, which some did. So there you go. It's pretty uh, similar to the Lobo sidearm as well. And he holds it nicely. So there you go. And there's also a, uh, a little clip on the back here of his armor. And it just pops right off. So it does clip in nicely, so you can hold it on his back if you don't want to have him hold this uh, big rifle here. So he does hold everything very nicely, very easily, and uh, there you go. There's a nice little... <laughs> I don't even know, I'm just playing around right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, but there you go, there we go. The fucking warlord, excuse me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the sparrow <laughs> with his guns out. So there you go. He does hold everything very nicely. I'll get back to business here as I'm playing around. Um, his head, uh, as far as articulation go, he's pretty well articulated. His head does move side to side. I'm going to back up a little bit. There we go. His head does move side to side. And it does look down very nicely. And it does look up okay. His head also can do a full 360 if you so choose. His arm goes up about that far, goes down. Um, it can do a full 360 on both sides, so there you go, there's that. He's got a bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow, a wrist rotation. He also has an ab crunch, which works nicely. Uh, waist swivel, that's, oh boy. Maybe he doesn't have a waist swivel. He's gotta have a waist swivel. No? All right, I'm not gonna force it. If he does have a waist swivel, then mine's like really frozen, but I'm guessing he doesn't, which is odd. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna force it. So I guess no, no waist swivel. Um, if you know, let me know in the comments, but mine's frozen. Um, his legs do go out, forward, and back nicely. He's got an upper thigh swivel, a single bend at the knee, and ankle hinge. So there you go. Now, the problem that I had with um, Imperiax I have the same problem with this guy. His knee joint isn't, his, his peg isn't all the way through the knee, which is really kind of frustrating because if this peg gets loose or he's standing the wrong way or just over time, the peg could pop, pop, uh, possibly fall out, which is definitely not cool in my book. And I wrote the book on what's cool for me, so. But uh, his, his boots are very nicely sculpted. Uh, he does have two peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Oh, look at my peg holes. But uh, there is nice stitching and sculpting going on with his boot there. Um, I like how he's got these uh, green kind of army pants going on there. It's pretty cool. I'll put his gun back in there. There we go. Um, I'm digging the armor. It's pretty, you know, unique. I was expecting uh, Despero to be a little bit larger. He is a, a, a can be a very large figure or <laughs> large, <fi> <laughs> large character. Um, 
So yeah, let's do some let's do some size comparisons here. Um, poor Mongol keeps getting picked on because he's so short. But here's Mongol. Okay, and I'll bring in. Uh, Hey guys, I'm the shortest, but I can beat you both up. Excuse me, pardon me, I'm next. Whatever. So Mongol is obviously bigger than Superman, so that's okay. And then we got Despero, which is much larger, 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 larger than Superman. And uh, I guess Soup's over here. And then we got uh, Imperiax. And he's larger than Despero, so there you go. Back that up. Back it up, girl. So there you go. Oh, also, one more size comparison I wanted to do. Here's Ares. Let's get all the guys in here. Group group picture. Everybody get in. Tallest to shortest. There you go. So you, you pretty much know what you're getting into. You got three different stages here. So and I love it when people say, oh, my Mattel uses, oh, they say I'll fall over. And there goes Superman. Come on, Mongo, you're next, fall over. But I love it when people say, oh my God, Mattel just uses the same three bodies over and over again. No, they don't. They definitely don't use the same three bodies over and over again. As much as I'm not a big fan of Mattel right now because of their dumb decisions business-wise, um, I gotta give it to them. They did uh, give us some variety here. So there you go, there's your variety. It's variety time. Time for, time for variety. But um, yeah, Despero, definitely a really nice figure. Um, I'm digging the, uh, the face sculpt. Let me get in real close. So, pretty cool. It's got some uh, shading, like dark, uh, dark red shading or brown shading maybe on his face. Pretty cool. Very menacing look. Very menacing. I'm gonna eat your cornflakes. I'm gonna eat it. I see it with all three of my eyes. Um, so yeah, he definitely is really cool. Definitely suggest getting this guy. You, I picked this guy up for 35 bucks and him being a collect and connect figure, I think it's a really good price. And um, I actually got 10% off, so I actually paid less than $35. Um, there's an eBay seller, I can't remember the name of their, HT Toy Shop. Dot com or something like that. So I'll give him a cheap plug. There you go. There's your cheap plug. HT. I believe it's HT Toy Shop. I can't remember. I have a horrible memory. But <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If I had to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give him uh, an eight. Um, uh, some of the joints, like the pegs, the pegs aren't through the hole. Like uh, I don't know. That's just QC problems. Um, still, the figure is nice, so I'm going to stick with with an eight with him. Um, like I said, I know I've been getting giving a lot of high ratings with the last bunch of reviews, but these are some really good figures that I'm finally getting that um, were high up on my list to get, and I'm trying to get the ones that are highest on my list first and then go after maybe the little bit more less important ones. So with that being said, he still is a really great pickup. You can definitely find him for around 30 to 40 bucks. And I think that's a good price for a collect and connect figure with some pretty cool accessories. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.